My name is Titus Abbott, and I'm here to discuss all things saxophone, um, and um, uh, mostly in a jazz context, but some of the things we're going to touch on will be applicable to um, classical music as well. Um, the primary focus of these videos is going to be on um, some of the things that are not dealt with in depth in uh, other online uh, uh, classes, which is um, the idea of sound development. Um, the I always tell my students that the first thing anyone ever listens for in your playing is your sound. Um, and if you don't have a solid sound, it sort of doesn't matter what the style is. If your sound is not there, um, there's not much to be done after that. Um, so when I'm listening to um, a student or a young player, uh, I go, it's, if the sound is not solid, it's really hard to get past that. So um, my um, uh, goal for this uh, set of, of uh, videos is to introduce some, uh, some of the concepts that are that help to develop sounds. We will um, touch on uh, long tones, overtones, altissimo. Those are the three primary uh, areas. Um, and there's a lot of, uh, and there's some also some exercises um, uh, working with vibrato and uh, some uh, interval exercises. Um, the um, some of the texts that I'm going to recommend and and uh, discuss uh, things out of are um, uh, a great book by David Liebman called Developing a Personal Sound on Saxophone um, or something along that lines. Um, and uh, there will be a link down below for you to purchase that. Uh, I have no affiliation to uh, the where that's being sold. Um, just. Um, making a connection for you to be able to pick it up. The other uh, m um, book that I'd like to introduce uh, to you is um, um, a book by Sigurd Rascher called uh, Top Tones for Saxophone um, that uh, a lot of um, saxophonists have worked out of to work on their sound and it's 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 very very in depth and we're going to talk about a lot of the ideas in that book in the um, videos that follow. Um, the uh, um, a book that is out of print and a little um, hard to find is um, and um, was the inspiration for um, the title of this um, this channel. Um, is a book um, by uh, soprano saxophonist Steve Lacey called um, uh, Findings, uh, My Experience with Soprano Saxophone, um, which is um, an excellent book um, and talks about um, very interesting things related to saxophone in general and the soprano, soprano in specific and has some, some of his compositions. All, all of those books are excellent. Also, Eugene Russo's book called High Tones for Saxophone, I believe, is also an excellent alternative to, um, to the um, Rasher book. So we're going to talk about those things in detail. We're also going to hit on um, uh, um, learning um, about sound from doing transcriptions. Uh, so learning uh, music off of, from records, from the masters, um, whether that be uh, uh, if you're an alto player, a cannonball, cannonball Adderley, or, or um, Charlie Parker, or Art Pepper, and if you're a tenor player, John Coltrane, or Sonny Rollins, or Joe Henderson, or uh, its style is not that uh, important. Um, and what a lot of what we're going to deal with is is um, is not style specific. It means that um, you can, and it's also not horn specific. I'm going to be doing examples on alto, t uh, soprano, and tenor. So it's uh, this 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 um, 
course is um, for all saxophonists and the same things apply although one has to approach each of these instruments uh, as if they are um, a very different animal uh, when I when I think about sax alto or, or soprano or tenor I put on a very different hat I also play clarinet and bass clarinet um, and bring a, a different approach to those so um, uh, so welcome to this, this, this is the introduction. Um, I'm hoping to get up some videos uh, very soon with um, um, details about, primarily about sound development. Then um, um, the next most important thing after sound development is going to be uh, developing time feel. Um, as I said, first thing that anyone hears in your playing is your sound. Second thing that people hear, especially in the jazz uh, vein or even um, more of an avant-garde jazz vein, is your your time feel or placement of ideas. That's the second most important. And the third most important, uh, or the I wouldn't say the least important, um, I'm just saying that, that um, what you actually play, the notes, the patterns, or... or how you play through chord changes or what kind of mel melodic development you you choose to do that will be aided and 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 be in a good position if you have dealt with the first two primary focuses of sound developing a personal sound and developing a solid sound playing with a good time feel and then playing with great ideas so that's the order of of specifics it um, um so welcome and please uh come back and uh join me for um uh, a, a set of 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 classes on all things saxophone in a jazz domain uh hopefully we'll listen to some music um um and uh talk about how to how to um learn things from records, et cetera, et cetera. So thanks. Um, and if you are interested in this, please uh, subscribe so that you will know when a new video comes up and please like this. Um, so we'll see you soon. Thanks.